Hi, my name is Akshay Joshi and in this short video today I am going to demonstrate how to set up two-factor authentication in PG Admin 4. This feature is only available in a server mode. What is two-factor authentication? Two-factor authentication works by adding an additional layer of security to your online accounts. It requires an additional login credential, something you have to gain account access, in addition to your password, something you know. PG Admin 4 supports two types of authentication, email authentication and authenticator app, for example, Google Authenticator. How to set up two-factor authentication in PG Admin? Configure two-factor authentication for PG Admin 4 requires editing config underscore local dot pi or config underscore system dot pi on the system where PG Admin is installed in a server mode. You can copy the settings from the config.py file and modify the values for the following parameters. MFA underscore enabled. The default value for this parameter is 2. To disable 2FA, set the value to false. MFA underscore supported underscore methods. Set the authentication method to be supported. By default, it is set to email and authenticator. MFA underscore email underscore subject. You can provide the subject when you receive the verification code using email. By default, it is app name hyphen verification code. MFA underscore force underscore registration. Force the user to configure the authentication method on login if no authentication is already configured. So, this is how config underscore local dot pi or config underscore system dot pi look like. Here are the settings MFA underscore enabled equal to true, MFA underscore force underscore registration equal to false, MFA underscore email underscore subject equal to none because I want a default subject. One thing to note here to receive the verification code using email, mail server setting is must. So I have set the mail server setting like mail underscore server equal to smtp.gmail.com, mail underscore port equal to 465 mail underscore use underscore SSL equal to true, mail underscore username equal to my username and mail underscore password is my password. So let's see how it works in PG admin. I have logged into PG admin using my username and password. Go to the top right corner where user information is there. Select two factor authentication. As PG admin supports two type of authentication here, email authentication and authenticator app. Let's set up the email authentication first. Click on the setup button. Provide the email address where you want to receive the verification code. Click on the continue button. Let's see whether verification code is received or not. Receive the verification code. Copy the verification code from here and enter it here click on the continue button so email authentication is set up now we will check for authenticator app for that i have used google authenticator on my cell phone click on the setup button there is a qr code which you need to scan let me scan the qr code from my cell phone i scan the qr code and i got one code which is visible there. So we need to insert that. Click on the continue button once code is entered. So this is how authenticator app is also set up. At any point of time, you can delete the registration by clicking on the delete button. To verify two factor authentication, we need to log out from the PG admin and log in again. Close the dialog. Log out from PG admin. Login again using your email address and password. Click on the login button. This is the second layer of authentication that we call two factor authentication. As we have set up for both authenticator app and email authentication, you can go by your choice. I am selecting authenticator app, getting the code from my cell phone using Google Authenticator and enter it here. Click on validate. Here you can see that I am able to log in to BG admin using two factor authentication. So, this is how two factor authentication works. Thank you so much.